Uh, moving on now, Prince Harry's book is called Spare. Um, might even earn him a one-way ticket back to Britain, you know, that country where he came from. Uh, anyway, he escaped, of course, Great Britain to find privacy and a $100 million Netflix deal here in the United States. But he might have to go back. The Heritage Foundation believes Harry's past admission of drug use makes him ineligible to enter the United States under U.S. law. Anyone who admits to past abuse of illegal narcotics is denied entry to the country on a visa application. Prince Harry confessed to drug use, marijuana, cocaine, magic mushrooms, and others in his book. Of course, I had been taking cocaine, he wrote at the time. At someone's house during a hunting weekend, I was offered a line, and since then I had consumed some more. I was a 17-year-old willing to try almost anything that would alter the pre-established order, the order that, that Harry clearly had been so oppressed by as, as the prince. Yet the penalty for lying on a visa application is permanently inadmissible status to the United States, loss of immigration benefits, such as a green card, deportation, even potential jail time. Niall Gardner's here of the Heritage Institute who is suing for this. Look, as you could probably tell, not exactly a huge fan of, of the dear prince, and, and you guys have the royals, not us. We fought a war to get rid of them. Why is this important, though? Why sue over this? Well, thanks for having me on the show today, yeah. Leland. And I think this is a very important issue because this is an issue really about the enforcement of U.S. immigration laws. Uh, the idea... Well, to be, to be fair, you know, we're not exactly forcing them on the southern border these <laughs> days, so... <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a good point. But, uh, you know, the Heritage Foundation, we believe that immigration law should be applied. It should be applied equally to everybody. Okay. Uh, Prince Harry should not be treated any differently. He has admitted to a huge amount of drug use over the course of many years. It's all there in his memoir, uh, Spare. So we want to establish, really, uh, fully, whether or not he lied on his application, whether he was honest, uh, and also whether he was given any kind of preferential treatment as well. Did senior uh, officials intervene on his behalf in order to secure him a visa? Uh, and so there are a lot of important questions here, and I think there's a very clear public interest in ensuring that uh, Prince Harry did not break any U.S. laws. And so we're calling for the release of his immigration records, his immigration application, so we can see exactly what he put down on his application. Right. He's a British citizen. He comes here to work. He has to get a visa, visa of some type. Um, this is Harry talking about his plight and why he turned to drugs and drinking. It was obvious to us as kids, the British press is part in our mother's misery. And I had a lot of anger inside of me that luckily I never expressed to anybody, but I resorted to drinking heavily because I wanted to numb the feeling, or I wanted to distract myself from how, whatever I was thinking, and I would you know, resort to drugs as well. All right, so I guess a couple things to think about there. One, he, he says he's the victim, so who, who knows about that? But num number two, he can't say my ghostwriter put it in, because he now is talking about this on television. I, I go back to this. Okay, so if he indeed, there's two options, right? Either A, he said, I never used narcotics, he lied on his visa application, or he said he did, would that mean he absolutely got special treatment? Yeah, so if he indicates on his application that he had been a drug user, uh, then he would have had to give further uh, details with regard to his drug use, and a waiver would have to be been issued by U.S. immigration authorities in order to allow him uh, into the United States on a visa. Uh, and so we're asking, firstly, whether he was completely accurate in terms of all the information he put down. Secondly, whether he was given special preferential treatment in order to get a U.S. A visa. Here. So, so if, yeah. we, if we play this out, uh, and let's just say he was dishonest, we don't know whether he was or yeah. not, uh, you want him deported? You guys want him back? We know you're from the United Kingdom, really? Well, I, I think, firstly, <laughs> that if, he, if indeed he lied uh, on his application, we, we, don't, we don't know yet. We, right. we therefore want to see the documents. But if he did lie, that is perjury, that's a criminal offense, he would be asked to leave the United States. Uh, and uh, it has to be said, of course, he's a very unpopular figure in the United Kingdom. So I don't think a lot of British people <laughs> want to see him back, back in the UK. Maybe he would go to Canada, for example. I, I, but, I was uh, thinking Australia. I mean, here's uh, the, he's got, you yeah. want him to find a place that he can find privacy. That's what we all care about, and I know you, you all as well. Uh, Niall, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Good to, good to see thank you. you. Coming up. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation 
on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.